Hello, and welcome to online training. In this module, we will be discussing biohazard cleanup, which includes urine, feces, blood, and vomit. Don't worry, no real vomit was used in the making of this video. This is Caitlin, the undergraduate staff member on duty, who just got a phone call that somebody vomited in the hallway. This is the vomit in the hallway Caitlin will now clean up. Step 1. Post wet floor signs in secured area when possible. Secure necessary supplies and assistance to properly handle the hazard. Step 2. Wear protective equipment. Disposable gloves and goggles are mandatory. Step 3. Remove the cap from the tuberculosis disinfectant and attach the sprayer. Save the cap to replace it back onto the bottle when cleanup is finished. Completely spray the biohazard with the tuberculosis disinfectant. Let it sit for 10 minutes. Step 4. When large amounts of liquid are present, use the absorbent material provided. Apply only enough absorbent material to soak up the liquid. Now you only do this on hard floor. Do not use this absorbent material on carpet. Step 5. Clean up the contaminated materials with pieces of cardboard and paper towels. Extra paper towels can be taken from the restroom if needed. Use cloth towels if necessary. Please do not use a broom and dustpan, vacuum, wet vac, or carpet extractor to clean up contaminated materials. Place all contaminated materials, including the cardboard, paper towels, goggles, and gloves, in the plastic bag and tie securely. Step 6 is to wash your hands thoroughly. Step 7 is to take the plastic bag with the contaminated material to your closest dumpster. And step 8 is to come back inside, wash your hands thoroughly again, and then return the biohazard cleanup box. Thank you for watching this online training module. In this module you will also find the instructions written out to clean up biohazards on both carpeted floors and then hard floors. You also have a few questions to answer about the video you just saw. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact your senior staff.